Hello there, and good Tuesday, April 8th, 2008. I'm Joanne, and this is Rocket Boom. Ah, spring. Spring is in the air, in the city. A Mark Jenkins Washington DC installation. Do pass by below and bring wind to the grills of the streets. Up north for spring, the Wilkins ice shelf is breaking off. As seen from the NASA's Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer sensor last month. Curious? Let's have a look at this Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer sensor system. Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer sensor systems like this one have a viewing swath width of over 2,300 kilometers and views the entire Earth every one to two days with 36 spectral band detectors between 0.405 and 14.385 micrometers for data acquisition at three spatial resolutions. 250 meters, 500 meters, and 1,000 meters, transferred via tracking and data relay satellite systems. Anyway, that's beside the point. Melting ice caps may cause more volcanic eruptions. Vjarnjökull is the largest ice cap in Iceland, and it's disappearing at a rate of five cubic kilometers per year. That, in turn, could cause more underground disruption. In an effort to help combat global warming, a new trend in guilt instigation is making its way into common, everyday products. According to this paper dispenser artist and advertising agent, this product proves that the survival of the forest is directly connected to what people consume. And just when you thought you were free of germs, the Hubble finds first organic molecule on extrasolar planet. Organic, of course, should not be confused with alive, but I think you get my drift. Anyway, there's a product that can help people produce a lot less carbon, and that's blue sunglasses. People are wearing blue sunglasses and shining blue light on their food in an effort to make it look really gross. Too gross to eat, in fact. This, of course, helps to cut back on all kinds of stuff. Literally. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a cue from the professor. The bullshit is not necessarily a liar. What he says may very well be true. And he may uh, not think that it's false. I, I was careful to try to uh, make a distinction between, make, make clear the differences, as I understand it, between bullshitters and liars. Next to the artists and the philosophers, there's the hedonists. This is enjoying pleasure without feeling guilty about it. This attitude is promoted in our society because of the need for the manufacturers to sell plenty of goods to maintain a prosperous economy. Anyway, if you're in denial, it's all related and you can do something about it, like getting rid of your pets, especially if they've passed on. That's the takeaway here. Let's take it out now with the potato song, just for fun, because I love that one, and I suspect I'm not alone. Potato, 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 potato,